I'm here with Danashwa and we are up in Hendon and we are on mock test. Danashwa has contacted me through Instagram and wanted to do a mock test. You've got a real test coming up. Yes, in a week's time. And this is your first mock test? Yes, okay. unfortunately. You're not 17 years old, are you? Not really. Do you have a driving license from somewhere else? Yes, I have a driving license from India. I've been driving in India for around six to seven years. Okay, so it's safe to say you should have good control of the car. I'm not going to damage your car, that's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that's always good news, I like that. We have a lot of traffic in India. But after driving here for 12 lessons, it's like, oh man. <laughs> I would love one day to go and see if I could drive there because it's completely different. It's completely different. I have driven in some places around the world, but I don't think I've ever done anything like India. I, I will suggest you to try once. We never keep that much distance because we don't have that big roads. How do you feel about your driving for this test? How do you feel about it? Uh, that's what I'm finding out. So I am doing mock test, but yeah, I think I'm pretty confident. Like, comment and subscribe because it really boosts the channel and it pushes this video out to other people that may find this content beneficial. Yeah. At all times, follow the road ahead, unless they tell you to turn left or turn right, or unless the road turns indicate otherwise. If I need you to turn, I'll tell you in good time. We're gonna take in one reversing maneuver possibly an emergency stop, and you'll be doing about 15 to 20 minutes of independent driving. In this case, it's gonna be sat nav, and I'll be asking you these show me, tell me questions, or one tell me and one show me on the move. Now, if you're not sure of where you're going, just like on the real test, you can ask. If you'd like to do a mock test on my channel, then hit me up on, in fact, number one, follow me on Instagram. Number two, did you follow me on Instagram? <laughs> Get your phone out, no, I'm joking. Okay, so, if you'd like to do a mock test on my channel, number one, follow me on Instagram, because that'd be amazing. And number two, send me a DM and we'll talk about it. We are going to go for a little drive just to allow him to warm up and get familiar with the car. And then when we see you next, we'll be starting the test. Tell me how you would know that you would have a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Okay, I will start my car. First of all, there is an indicator, ABS. I will start my car and after I start a car, it should go off. Okay. After some time. Brilliant. Okay, so whenever you're ready, Danishwa, if you can just drive off to the right. Drive off to the right. And then take the next road on the left. It's a good solid start. He's looking all the way around the car. This is the first thing the examiner sees and first impressions last. Next road to the left. And take this next road on the left. So the first thing that Dineshwa discovers is the car has a bit of power. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it has a lot of power. At the traffic lights, we're gonna turn right. Right. At the traffic lights. Dineshwa changes lanes without a signal. I would have signaled it. I don't think he's had an impact on anybody, but there are certainly vehicles around that would have benefited. Again, this is the first route I'm going. First time I'm going to this route. He then signals too early for the traffic lights as he hasn't gone past this junction yet. I can go quickly here. I can go. He now comes to a stop behind the vehicle in front with a good separation gap of tires on tarmac. Have a smooth braking. As Dineshwa moves off here, he loses his lane discipline and drifts to the left before turning right. Because the road markings disappear, you have to be vigilant to what could be coming up on your left-hand side. Dineshwa just drives the car forwards rather than turning to the right. This would and could have a serious impact on anyone passing him on his left-hand side. In this instance, with the bus, he gets away with it, but on a different day, with a faster moving vehicle, this could have been dangerous. He's about to be given a route direction that we're gonna be turning right further up the road, and he now makes his second major mistake. He forces his way in front of an oncoming car. 
Okay, so for your advanced planning, at the traffic lights, which is in about 600 yards, we're going to turn right. He does the first lane change well. You can see the Mercedes coming up behind him, but he chooses to accelerate rather than to let it come by. When I remind him we're turning right, he moves straight into the maneuver. Okay, so just to remind you of the traffic lights, we're going to be turning right. This is a serious fault for mirrors for change of position. He's now traveling at speed and doesn't respond to the built up traffic. This is a driver fault for mirrors change of speed. He gave us a uh, way to go. I'm not convinced that the driver did. After queuing in this traffic for a little while, the lights turn and Danishwa rushes forwards. This is quite a common mistake of experienced drivers, but the light turns. This is another mirror fault for change of speed. Danish was a little bit confused about where he's going, so I point him in the right direction. And then when there's a pedestrian waiting at the junction, he pauses as if to let her go. He quickly moves on, but this is a driver fault for undue hesitation. Even if you're turning into or out of a junction, if it's light controlled, let the lights decide who has priority. And then we're just gonna find somewhere to pull up on the left in a safe place, please. As the Nishwa pulls up on the left, he gets pretty close to the curb for the speed he's traveling. Maybe it's because I've got a new car, but I was a little bit twitchy that he was going to hit the curb. In the end, it demonstrates good control and judgment, but it's unnecessary to get that close on a pull-up. It's good. Okay, so we're going to be following the sat-nav for a period of approximately 10 to 15, 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? And if you're not sure where you're going, obviously, please ask. Yeah. Whenever you are ready, drive on. Dinesh now demonstrates good all-round observation as he moves off. Danishwa's just started on the sat-nav and he's a little bit confused about how far away the next junction is. If you're ever unsure, you can always ask. His mirrors also come after signal, but in this case, it's not noteworthy. Turn left. Just here. Upon entering this new road, he enters a meeting traffic situation, which he deals with quite well. After the first car comes through, he has an opportunity to move forwards into the next holdback position. But from our position, it's a little unclear how far ahead that is. There are now two more vehicles approaching far up the road, but they are quite some distance away. If there had been a vehicle behind us, this could have become a problem. But there isn't, so in this case, I'm going to put this down as not noteworthy. Danish was now going to be tasked with the parallel park. And then if you could just pull up on the left, just before the black car. He checks his mirrors well as he pulls up on the left. Okay, so we're going to perform the reverse parallel park using that car there. I'd like mm -hmm. to move off next to the car and then reverse the car back in, finishing off 
uh, within two car lengths, reasonably close to the curb. And in this instance, the treat driver. the dropped curb as if it's a normal curb. But you can stop next to it. Yes. But you mustn't go up it. Okay? Yeah. Are you right? Whenever you're ready. Danishwa initially does quite well on this maneuver, but he feels like he needs a correction. This is where the problems start. Now, I ummed and ahed on this one, and I couldn't initially decide whether it was a driver fault or serious. I'm going to let you guys decide. However, on the day of your test, be careful, because if you do not perform the correct observation, this could easily go against you and become a serious. Quickly we will change so everyone will come to know. Let's do a quick round check again. He moves off without doing a proper right blind spot check, but he does check it about three to four seconds later, so I could give him the benefit of the doubt. However, that could be enough. He does see the pedestrian, but I would have paused the car just to make sure. Sorry, I'm doing it in stop. Again, he's demonstrating good all-round observation, even when he's looking for his accuracy of the maneuver. He now has an oncoming car and starts to swing out, but does stop in time. However, this could also be enough to go against you. When he finishes the maneuver, he's also beyond the two car lengths. He moves the car forwards, however, that does not solve that problem. Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, all right, brilliant. Fantastic. Thanks. Drive on when you're ready. I hope this fantastic is not sarcasm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm never sarcastic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. not sarcastic. Let's okay, see. drive on when you're ready. So, he definitely made mistakes, and I'm going to driver fault him for both control and observation. But this is going to be a trial by jury. You decide. Was this a serious fault? Answers in the comments. Sam is going to ask you to turn around and go back. No, we can't do that. So we're going to take the next road on the right. Okay. Take the first exit. Yeah, the roundabout right turn left, yeah. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Park Road. Danishwa now makes a mistake on this roundabout, but it's not the roundabout that's the problem. It's the curb on the left. Oops. It's okay. Danishwa just didn't look left, and that was the problem. First time I hit the curve in all six At the time. end of the road, turn left, A41, okay. Hendon Way, then turn right. He now has to be very patient with this emerge onto the dual carriageway. Turn left, then turn right. And this can be a banana skin. We are waiting at this junction for approximately a minute and a half, but he does it exactly how it should be. Do not take the risk of trying to emerge too quickly onto a junction like this. And as I've said before in previous videos, it's the middle lane that is also the problem. Because it does take so long, let's just cut to where he moves off. You have to think about middle lane as well. Uh, 
see the gap now. After this two cars, I we can go. Danishwa now responds very well to the satnav and makes this next right turn. What's impressive is that he responds to the satnav. After 300 yards, turn right, B551, Queens Road, then turn left. Before it gives him the route direction. This has allowed him to a position nice and early into the correct right-hand lane. Turn right, then turn left. Danishwa now makes an unexpected error and he doesn't realize that it's happening. When he comes to a stop, he still has his foot on the brake, but he's not applying enough pressure and the car is rolling backwards. I'm just going to stop the car from rolling backwards there, buddy. The car's just rolling backwards. You've got a car right behind you. Okay, going to give you back control of the car? Yeah. You got it? Okay. It was rolling? Yes. I didn't notice. This can happen, so be careful. He also gets beeped from the cars behind, and that's simply because he hasn't gone that deep into the junction. Cars behind would like to get access to the junction to guarantee they're going to clear when the lights turn. I can understand why he doesn't want to move forwards, but if you do, there is a space just here. Just don't break this invisible line. We don't have gap, so how I can move? Who is honking? I'm not sure. Who or what they honking? And this traffic lights is green. There is no one in pedestrian, so yeah, okay. And again, road closure. Turn left, Wycombe Road. Then you have reached your destination. Was it really uh, rolling back? Because I have my foot on brake. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, I had to do it. Because you were rolling straight back to the car and I could see that you, don't, you weren't paying attention. Now the car behind that beat him earlier now does something silly. Can we turn left? I guess whoever they are, they're in a hurry. Just gotta be careful. Yeah. Now, when this sat nav finishes, I'll mm -hmm. be directing you as normal. Okay. Dinishwa has understandably been keeping his speed down. With all these parked cars, there are plenty of hazards. But he's now entering a 20 zone, which is indicated by these two signs here when the lights flash. However, the van behind thinks he's been driving too slowly and decides to overtake. I'm only highlighting this because in this case, Danishwa's done nothing wrong, but picking up your speed in a school-operated 20 zone is a bad idea. And then when it's safe to do so, could you put your rear demister on for me, please? Danishwa picks the right time to go for the demister. That's it. Brilliant. Now, possibly the last thing of note on this driving test is this last left turn. Because he went over the curb earlier, well, he slightly overcompensates and it's a bit tight. And then take this next road on the left here, please. He just gets a little bit closer to the bus than he needs to. Careful. <laughs> I have not drawn this car. But yeah, this is very... Different car? Yeah, yeah it's different. And then this happened. There are tunes coming out of her car, so I don't want to get done for copyright. <laughs> She's brushing her hair. <laughs> yeah. Brushing your hair and drinking. And now it's a straight run back to Test Center. Let's try.
survived then. How do you think you did? I think I did two mistakes. Okay. One is a curb one, and other is that rolling back. I really didn't notice that. I thought it is stable, and I didn't really saw that it's motioning. Okay. But yeah, uh, definitely, if it is rolling, then it's rolling. <laughs> Maybe I can yes. see in that video. In the video, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I should be able to highlight it in the video. Yeah. I left it for a second. I, le I was waiting for you to respond, and then you really? didn't respond, and I could just see the car getting closer. Okay. So I just. I had to bring the yeah. car to a stop. No, definitely, obviously, even though if I was in your place, definitely I would have done that. Rest other, I think, junctions, mirrors, I did pretty well. Okay, good. I think so. So you think it's a fail? <laughs> obviously, one time you have yeah. interviewed. Okay, yeah, yeah it's yeah. pretty obvious, isn't it? Okay, yes. So un unfortunately, you know, you didn't pass that. Okay, I want to start off with some positives, okay? Because you, you clearly are a driver and I can see that overall you have a very good understanding of the car, okay? You've made some silly little mistakes in places. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely right. The, the foot brake would have been a serious, definitely yeah. for the roll backwards. Um, and then the turning left going over the curb like that. Yes. yes. Um, you then overcompensated on another one with the bus and everything else. And it was very wide, we came really close to, so there was a slight just yeah, on those yeah, last yeah. One. There's not a serious fault, it's just a driver fault, but just very, very yeah, wide on that. Right. When we came out of here, we turned left, we came up to the traffic lights, we turned right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, as you were turning right, you really moved the car to the left, and there was a, I think it was a bus on our left hand side. Okay. I don't even think you're aware of this at all. You have no idea what I'm talking about. No, no, there was, no, there I, was I got it, I got it. The first right after traffic lights. Onto the dual carriageway. Yes, right. I, 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 was, I was thinking that I should go in left lane. No. Uh, but it was like quite a bit far. Uh, you went too far to the left. So this, I would put this down as a serious fault because it's, it's, a, it's alarming that yeah, you're yeah. doing this because on a different day, if yeah. that car boom, went, mm -hmm. a vehicle went, not a bus, a car, yeah. and you drift. Okay, the lane change on the dual carriageway. You went for it up that dual carriageway. Straight after that, you went for it up the dual carriageway. You were mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. And I reminded you, you moved to the middle lane, which was fantastic. I like that. You did it nice and early because you knew that it was coming. And then I reminded you. And the, it's almost like when, you, when I reminded you, you felt that was like, go now. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But it, it wasn't. It was, yeah. I was just reminding you we're going to be turning right. No, no, no. I did a signal, so he 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 gave us a uh, mm. gave us a side. He wasn't waiting for you. Now mm. you were using speed up mm -hmm. that dual carriageway. You were going for it. Mm -hmm. How else could you have used your speed so that it would have taken away any potential conflict with this Mercedes? What could you have I done differently? I would have done slow down. And then what would that Mercedes have done? There, he, he would he would have passed. Then and, and how much space was there behind the Mercedes? A lot of space. So why do we need to go in front? The, the parallel park. Now, the parallel park, I have decided just to drive a fault it, but it's got to be careful, right? You did the, it's, it's mainly the observation that was the problem, okay? The control you had a few issues with, and, but you eventually got it done, and you did go further than two car lengths, so you've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. The parameters are within two car lengths, so okay. you could, if these nasty, mm -hmm. get you on this. Yeah. Uh, but you got it done. The observations, you did your observations and you stopped before looking on the blind spot. Now, this is the first move off. Mm -hmm. You then move the car and then you check the blind spot. So you've checked it, but you've moved. It's definitely a fault. So I went, I was leaning towards driver fault rather okay. than serious fault, okay? Mm -hmm. You were then continued really good observation actually around the car. You had a car over here doing something. Then there was a vehicle coming, coming from down from here. The, yeah. Now you stopped, but late. Okay. But you stopped. Mm -hmm. It was late. Now I was sitting there going, he stopped. It's late. Yes, and I was umming and ahhing with myself like, is it serious? Is it driver? You, uh, you ultimately stopped. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and I put it down as driver fault rather than serious, serious fault, fault, okay? But you must be very careful because on a different day that can go against, against you. Me. How should we have done that? If there's a car coming, when should you have paused? Yeah, I noticed it very late. You noticed Because it. I was looking here, then I was coming here, then I noticed that car, then I stopped. Yeah, then you stopped, so, yeah. But yeah, you, you did stop, yeah. but the car was going like this. I mean, yes. 
it could very easily become a serious fault. Yeah. Eco-safe driving, this is not a fault. This is like a driver. It's not even a driver fault, actually. Yeah. You, you'd like the car. Yeah, boom, you know, 20, 30 miles an hour, second gear. Should we be driving 30 miles an hour in second gear, even if the no. car can handle it? <laughs> yeah, so it's just this. So Look, you, you, you are... Almost four serious fault. Could be five for the parallel park. This has been Danashwa's mock test. He's got a real test coming up soon, so please give him some love in the comments. If you like what you've seen here, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more content, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Get well out. Peace. Yes.